Hi guys, Irit here and I have a new project for the cut shop. This is the page I will be creating and I'm using two cut files. This one is called I'll Fly Away and it's this gorgeous butterfly background and this one is called Word to the Wise. And I'm showing you what I cut and I love this cut file because you get kind of a two-in-one um, there's just so many ways to use it. You can use the background paper, you know, and back it with some pattern paper, which I was considering. Um, and then you have all these beautiful butterflies that you can just add to your background or um, add as embellishments. You can color them, you can cut them from pattern paper. There's just so many things you can do. So I decided to play a bit with mixed media and I wanted this really um, kind of, I don't know, candy pink. So I started with a couple of um, paint dabbers from Ranger. Uh, these are, I think they're older ones, and but it wasn't uh, dark enough. So I'm just looking for some uh, mist, like a dark pink mist that I can add to darken it a bit. And it still wasn't uh, dark enough. And I didn't want to add a lot of mist because I am using modeling paste. Um, which is firm because I want to use it through the stencil and if you add too much uh, liquid to it It will just lose its firmness. So I'm trying <laughs> Again with the mist, but it's still not dark enough. Um, it's a beautiful color, but just not what I'm looking for so I went to s in search of uh, heavy body acrylic paint and This one is from Dina Wakely. It's um, I think the pink is called magenta and then I got the color I wanted. Now I have to say sometimes with acrylics you know they don't dry exactly the same um, but this was pretty close and I really like uh, the color that um, that it turned out. It's this really beautiful pink. I love pink. So <clears throat> now I want to create my background and I decided I didn't want um, to use all the butterflies. Uh, I kind of want my photo and everything um, to be kind of clustered in the bottom right quadrant of the layout. So I'm just using some of, of the uh, butterflies. And everything here is, um, I'm using American Crafts heavy weight uh, white cardstock and um, it didn't really buckle so much because there's not a lot of um, surface covered with the modeling paste. If you cover a large uh, area with modeling paste it will buckle um, so if you're gonna do that it's better to prep your page with uh, gesso because the modeling paste has obviously some um, amount of water in it and it soaks into the cardstock. So you can see that mine really didn't uh, buckle because it's just, you know, a few butterflies here and there. And I I really want to use also the stencil part in a future layout to cut it out or use it as it is because it looks pretty cool also with the uh, uh, pink modeling paste. So at this stage I wasn't sure uh, how to continue. Um, I haven't had as much time to scrapbook as I'm used to and uh, I think some other people are the same but for some reason when I scrap less it becomes harder for me uh, and when I scrap more I don't know the creativity juices flow or something so when I lack mojo I always turn for like to get some inspiration from somewhere else either my previous layouts or um, some favorite scrapbookers layouts and in this case I was totally channeling my inner Suze Fish. If you don't know Suze Fish uh, she's on YouTube a little bit <laughs> sometimes when she's in the mood <laughs> and uh, she has a wonderful blog and she has the most amazing pretty layouts and yeah I think I saw recently she made um, I think she made it on several layouts but 
the one she made recently kind of stuck in my mind and she made kind of this border with all kinds of pattern papers and textures so I decided I want to do that and also uh, in her layouts there's usually kind of a tight cluster or area where the photos and all the embellishments are so I was also keeping that in mind and it just made everything um, you know flow once I had that concept so the papers I'm using so thank you Suze <laughs> thanks a lot you really helped me with this one um, the papers I'm using the base like this pink uh, stripe is some scrap from my stash I think it's an old Dear Lizzie um, paper and again this idea I also got from Sue's like ripping the uh, white cardstock to reveal all the layers behind it and all the little pattern papers I'm using they are from a six by six um, what's it called paper pad <laughs> paper pad uh, from Glitz Design, uh, which no longer exists, but this is an older collection. And um, yeah, it just has really pretty ice cream colors. So I used a few of those. And I'm just adhering it, and now I'm going to cut, uh, just measure that my layout is 12 by 12. So I need to cut up a bit, cut out a bit of that white. And my title is going just to be uh, Love. I'm not going to use that photo. I'm going to. Um, use another photo there it is the photo I'm going to use I just thought the square shape worked better and you can see I'm showing you I cut actually the title twice at the beginning I thought I would use it in pink but then I decided to go with black so the way I did it um, I instead of cutting the word from the cut file I just used a pen so at the beginning I used this jelly roll. I have um, a pen holder for the Silhouette Cameo. And every time I use it, I think I should use it more often because I love how that looks. So instead of cutting the cut file, I just put in the um, in the Silhouette software, you know, in the cutting um, settings, um, Silhouette Sketch Pen, I think. And, <coughs> and then after I... Uh, finished the drawing or the machine finished <laughs> the drawing I didn't remove my mat from the machine you don't want to remove it you want to leave it in and I um, you know selected the word the love word and did an offset uh, line of it so it's in the uh, silhouette software I hope that makes sense but you know you can offset uh, any cut file and just uh, cut around it in whatever distance you want. You can cut right on the line or leave this white border around the word, which I did because I like how that looks. And I switched to my uh, blade in my machine and then send it again to the silhouette to cut around the word. So um, I hope that makes uh, sense. But it's such a great way to stretch your cut files. You could do the same with the butterflies. Um, you know, use a pen and uh, draw on the background and then you could color them in. There's just so many things you could do. I'm just adding the finishing touches. I'm tucking some puffy stickers um, be like between the layers there of all the pattern papers. And I added this cute camera on the O in the word love. And the puffy stickers are from all from different collections. I think most of them are from the Amy Tan Plus One collection, which is, I think, a couple of years old, but it was a really, really great collection. And I love puffy stickers, so I stocked up on those. Um, and I think the last thing I will add, a couple of things I'm going to add, are some uh, splatters in yellow. I really wanted to bring a little bit more yellow uh, into the layout because there's a yellow pattern papers hidden there on the side. Uh, and I wanted uh, just a few touches of yellow and a little, um, what's it called, like a wind wheel or something. There you can see next to the word. And that one is from Crate Paper uh, from one of their summer lines. So that's it. I hope you enjoyed my layout. Have a lovely day. Bye.